Okay, we're back here live in Las Vegas. This is IBM Edge. Ed Walsh is here. He's the Vice President of Marketing and Strategy at the Storage Group. Ed, good friend of theCUBE, welcome back. Oh, thank you. It's great to be back. No. Uh, double from last year, you must be excited about that. No, it's great showing. But both partners and clients, right? So it's more than a double. Yeah, so, Good awesome. energy. Yeah. Right. And last year, last year you, you told us on theCUBE, you're like, you know, we see this storage mm -hmm. center of the value proposition and something that we've been saying for multiple years, and you said, we're going to bring it together, we're going to break down the silos. Mm -hmm. You guys have done that. Last year was the first foray into that. Now this mm -hmm. year, double in size, different scope, mm -hmm. messages around abstracting away the complexity, um, and taking it to another level, obviously software is a big part of that, virtualization, et cetera. I mean, that's part of the plan. Right, that's and also more integrated, what you see from our software side, both the Tivoli side and information management, especially when the analytics, because we're really bringing analytics into the storage layer, which is really driving a whole different value proposition. And that's a lot of the news that you're going to see is a storage platform during the show. Okay. Where storage is, is underneath that. So th my big takeaway here so far, and Dave and I have been talking about this in the past you know, eight months, is data processing is now the real deal, but it looks different. Absolutely. It looks different, it's open, yep. it's distributed. Uh, do you agree with that, and how do you view that? I mean, I mean, I'm not trying to introduce new messaging, but I mean. No, it's, it, it, so we see it changing, and everyone sees it. It's not like a, a new insight, but I do think it's that people are always challenged with the two things. How do they innovate and drive new, you know, capabilities, draw more out of their data, analytics, a big theme there, but also how do they get more out of their environment, and then two, really the budget constraint, how do you do that and also save money, et cetera. So that's why we're covering a lot of the technologies, right? So the, it, we, uh, when we talked about economics in my keynote, it was all about, let's talk about some key technologies, but also some buzzwords that we need to kind of break down and make sure it's clear to people how they can actually deploy in their environment. Talk about how you're different. Your vision of software-defined sure. storage and what you're delivering today and in the future is different from you know, your major competitors. So everyone's pointing the fence, new buzzword. So part of my talk is actually talking about how do you demystify it, right? How do you actually use it? So we believe there's a 1.0, we actually have it today. Poor people are pointing the fence. Imagine the day you can virtualize heterogeneous storage, actually get your arms around it, and use all type of storage, including commodity storage. Imagine that day, well, okay, we've been doing that for 10 years with Swordwise, SVC, and TPC. Mm -hmm. That's software-defined 1.0, and it was born software-defined, right? Now the next phase is make that open and industry-led and extensible, add capabilities. Now that is where we are today, and that's us adding to the Storewise platform these APIs and working very closely with OpenStack to this industry-led and allowing people, and we're actually demonstrating our customers adding industry-led enhancements into the platform. And then we see it transcending to really software-defined 3.0, which is where we're going. <laughs>